Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. In today's class, we're going to be looking at the subject matter quadratic equation. Okay, first we'll look at the methods to solving quadratic equations. So methods. One is the factorization. Two, we have the completing the square. Three, we have the formula method. And the fourth one is the graphical method. Okay, we are going to look at example one. And the instruction here is to use the factorization method to solve the equation. The left hand side of the equation is known as the quadratic expression. So we are going to factorize that using the sum and the product. So we have the solution x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. So I'm using the sum. The sum we have here is the middle number, which is plus 3x. Okay? Now the product becomes the multiplication of the coefficient of x squared and the constant. Here, we have that as x squared times minus 10. And that will give us minus 10x squared. Now, how do we get the two factors that will give us the sum as well as the product? It's simply by using the factorization method. I just break this down into um, simple factors. Now, we know that 10, we only have two factors, which are 2 and and 5. Now, in this case, in the product we are having minus 10. In the sum we are having plus 3x. So what, how do we apportion the signs to these two factors? Is that you look at your sum and tell yourself, okay, how am I going to get plus 3? Remember, if this man is plus, if you have plus 2 and minus 5, plus 2 and minus 5 is not going to give you plus 3. That will give us minus 3, obviously, and that is not what we are looking for. So, to apportion the sign, that means 2 is going to be the minus, and 5 is going to be the plus. So, we have our two factors, which are minus 2x and plus 5x. So, if you fix it here, you discover that we have minus 2x plus 5x to give us plus 3. Now, if you still go ahead to multiply these two, let's just do that for a while. Minus 2x times plus 5x. That will end up giving us the same thing as minus 10x squared. So that means we are on the right path. Now, for the sum to have been expanded to be this, this is what we are going to place into that equation instead of plus 3x. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 10 equals 0. Now, at this point, what do you do next? You group. Now, when you group, now you take what is common in each of the brackets. What is common here is x. So I have this as x minus 2. Now if I come to this other bracket, I have a plus 5x and minus 10. The number that is common between them is plus 5. So this gives you plus 5 and you have this as x minus 2 equals 0. Now a word of caution. Anytime you are solving a quadratic equation, you must have a factor that is the same. That is, we call them repeated factor. If you don't have a repeated factor, then you are wrong. It means something is wrong somewhere. Then you have to retrace your step. So at this point, since I have a repeated factor, I will just have to factor it out. And I'll have x minus 2 into x plus 5. And that will be equal to 0. Now, at this point, we want to get the values of x. Now, if we take this as a, I will take this as b. The rule simply says that if I have a times b equals 0, a is going to be 0, or b is, equal, is going to be 0. So you take this as x minus 2 to be equal 0. Now, 
if you find this answer, of course, it's going to be 2. Then we have the next one as x plus 5 equals 0. You transfer that to that side, it's going to be minus. So that implies that x is going to be minus 5. So therefore, x is 2 or x is minus 5.